enhance and expand your images like this one to this one with AI generative expand feature. Hi everyone, welcome to AI Feature Byte YouTube channel and welcome to another AI tutorial. In previous tutorials, I have covered the features of Styler in detail and created several videos about it. However, Styler is continuously being updated with new tools. So it was necessary to create another tutorial to introduce its new features. In this tutorial, I am going to show you the exciting new feature of Styler AI including text to image, image to image, enhance tool and generate to expand. Please stay with me throughout this tutorial. Additionally, this video contains timestamps. So you can jump to any part that interests you. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Visit the Styler website. To get started with Styler AI, new users simply need to sign up and create an account on the website using the start for free button at the top right of the website and login. In the dashboard, click on new project. Enter a name for the project. In the aspect ratio section, set to the option to 16 is to 9 or as per your requirement. This is your workspace. Styler's AI allows us to turn our ideas into images by describing and typing them out which is known as text to image. From the left menu, click on text to image. There are pre-made styles in Styler and by selecting them, images are generated based on that style. By clicking on the style drop-down list, select the realistic option from the many available styles which generates the realistic images. You can also check the other styles. A bit further down, there is a box where you need to type your ideas as a prompt. I have a prompt prepared in advance which I am going to paste here into the box. A little further down, in the advanced section, we have access to the negative prompt option. The negative prompt is used to describe what you don't want to see in the image. After all is set, click on Stylerize button. In the new Styler update, the preview panel is located on the right next to the layer panel. After a short while, images are generated based on the prompt and their thumbnails are displayed. By moving the cursor over the images, we can view them in a larger size. You can review the images. In the new Styler update, by double clicking on any thumbnail, we can add it to the workspace. Click on the Layers tab. This is similar to the Layers panel on Photoshop. Using the eye icon on each layer, we can toggle the layer on and off allowing for image comparisons. Using the trash icon, we can delete layers. To save images, select the desired layer and click on export button from the top right menu. By clicking on the file type drop down list, you can choose between JPEG and PNG options. Click on download. The image is then saved in JPEG format on your computer. In the image to image process, we can change the style of an image to another style. For example, converting it from a realistic look to a 3D look. We have an image in the workspace which we generate the image using the text prompt or you can upload it from your hard drive. To upload image, click on import image button. Select an image from the hard drive and then upload it. After a short while, the image is uploaded and displayed on the workspace. From the left menu, click on image to image, then click on the no style option to choose a preferred style from the list. I also recommended you try and experience all these styles. Among the available styles, I select flamenco dance. In the text box, you can enter a new prompt which can affect the final output. Additionally, by clicking on the auto prompt option, Stylers AI analyzes the image and provides a textual prompt based on this analysis. The style intensity parameter adjusts how strongly the chosen style is presented in the result. The structure match parameter adjusts how well the generated image matches the input composite in terms of content structure. The face match parameter preserves face identity which is applicable for a single face only. After making the settings, click on Stellarize. The prompt enters the queue and after a short while, the image to image results are displayed as thumbnails. 
by moving the cursor over the thumbnails the images are displayed in a larger size by double clicking we can add the desired image to the workspace click on the layers tab using the eye icon on each layer we can toggle the layer on and off allowing for image comparisons using the trash icon we can delete layers to save images select the desired layer and click on export from the top right menu click on download the image is then saved in jpeg format on your computer if you want to download another image turn off the upper layer and select the lower layer click on export button in the file type section jpeg is already selected so click on download sometimes the canvas you are working with just is not the right size you need to space to add text or want to transform your landscape into a portrait with the generative expand powered by styler you can seamlessly resize your image to fit any need extending an image is easy with generative expand in styler ai just click on the drag behind the borders of your image to create a bigger background increase your aspect ratio and more Select the desired layer in the layers panel. From the left menu, click on generate to expand. The workspace changes and handles appear around the image. These handles are shaped like arrows pointing up, down, left and right. By clicking and dragging these arrows, we can expand the canvas in the directions we need. If you drag the handles, an empty space around the image is created. The generative expand tool uses AI to seamlessly expand the areas adding realistic details and matching the style of your original image. Click on the style rise button. After a short while thumbnails are displayed. By moving the cursor over the thumbnails you can view the results of the generative expand in a larger size and browse through them. By double clicking on the image you are satisfied with it is added to the workspace. Click on the layers tab. In the layers panel by using the eye icon you can compare the image with the previous one. The enhance feature is an amazing and magical tool in Styler. This tool has recently been added to Styler and in this section I intend to cover it. Styler's AI photo enhancer is a powerful tool that brings your photos to life with just one click. It automatically sharpens blurry images, increases resolution and reveals hidden details all in seconds. No need to deal with complicated editing software. Styler works its magic on portraits, landscapes and any aspect ratio. Fixing noise blur and low contrast while preserving the natural look of your photos. See the difference for yourself? Styler enhances your images in real time, giving you your stunning results. Take your photos to the next level. Try Styler's AI Photo Enhancer today. In the Layers panel, select the desired layer. From the left menu, click on the Enhance option. A new window opens. In this window, the strength slider can be adjusted from low to high. This slider is used to adjust the quality and detail strength of the enhanced image. Slightly increase the slider value and click on the Enhance button. The Enhance process begins. After a short while a new image is delivered to you with reduced blur increased resolution revealed hidden details reduced noise and improved contrast the image is incredibly enhanced this is the amazing power of styler's artificial intelligence in this mode a slider is also displayed that allows you to drag it to see and compare the before and after images at the bottom of the image there is a button called place on canvas which is placed on the image within the workspace with the download button you can download the image this is just the beginning of styler's new features in this tutorial we have only scratched the surface of what's possible stay tuned for more in depth explorations thanks for watching if you learn something new please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends we have a lot more ai tutorials coming up So subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay in the loop. The future is AI. Embrace it. See you in the next video.